Hello everyone, my name is Serafi and I'm happy to meet you all. And today we're going to be looking at some new Ignister cards that came out in the TCG. I haven't talked about TCG in a minute, um, and I haven't played in a minute, but that doesn't mean I don't want to play. I've just had a lot of things going on in real life that have uh, kind of Im impeded me. Uh, but these are cards that I definitely wanted to talk about. Busy last week, sorry about the wait. Let's get started. These are new Ignister cards. And Ignister is I's archetype. I from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. And these cards are a uh, far departure from the typical Ignister strategy. Ignister is usually meant to kind of uh, reference the six Ignis. And so it has six different base monsters that are all cyber monsters with different attributes. And the idea is that you can use all six of them to link summon the Arrival Cybers at Ignister. Uh, this deck, these new cards, seem to be a reference to Playmaker's cards, and they're all dark, which is weird. You can't use these to make uh, the Arrival, because the Arrival is require requires you to use at least three monsters with different attributes. So... If you're going to play this deck, it's going to be like a completely different variant of Ignister. I don't see the, I don't see these two uh, working together at all. You would either play Dark Ignister or you would play All Elements Ignister. Uh, but let's take a look at these new cards and see what we're going to do with them. So Wizard at Ignister, this is a reference to um, Cyber's Wizard. It has 1800 attack points and 800 defense points, level 4 Dark Cyber Monster. You can only use each of this card's effects once per turn. If you control a Cyber Monster Special Summon from the extra deck, you can target one Dark Cyber Monster in your graveyard. Special Summon both this card from your hand and that monster in defense position, and you cannot Special Summon for the rest of the turn except Cyber Monsters. Wow, that's good. Okay, so if you have a Cyber Monster that was Special Summon from the extra deck, you get to revive one of your Link materials and also play Wizard from your hand pretty strong now obviously you can't revive a link monster because you have to revive in defense position link monsters can't be in defense position but this is going to be a very powerful effect we'll have to take a look and see what other dark ignister monsters there are um, because you know most of them are not dark but this will definitely help you make some huge plays okay uh, you can banish this card from your field or your graveyard, target one monster your opponent controls, and change its battle position. That's obviously a reference to Cyber's Wizard. Cyber's Wizard had the ability to change a monster to defense position, so this is a cute little effect. Uh, it doesn't really help you all that much, but, you know, it doesn't hurt anything to have it. Uh, you banish it from the graveyard, use it, so why not? Okay. Uh, backup at Ignister. This is, this is Backup Secretary as an Ignister monster. A 1200 attack, 800 defense, level 3 dark cyber tuner monster. Okay. Um, there is, I believe, one cyber tuner. Uh, sorry, one ignister tuner, which is, I'm sure it's the win one because the win one is the synchro monster. Um, but this is interesting. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. If you control a cyber monster, special summon from the next deck, you can special summon this card from your hand. Sure, backup secretary has that effect, except that it's any cyber monster. And if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one dark cyber monster from your deck to your hand, except backup Ignister, and then discard one card. Okay. So this card allows you to basically draw your cyber's wizard, and then you discard its target. That's pretty good. That's really strong. And it's normal or special summon. So you can use this card as your starter if you have to, and you can use it as a fantastic extender if you don't have to. So, hmm... I like this. This is pretty strong. Next up, we have Curry Ku Link at Ignister. Level 1 Dark Cybers Effect Monster. Uh, 300 attack and 200 defense. So this is a way to make Link Karibo, I guess, if you want to play Link Karibo in Ignister. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. As a quick effect, you contribute one at Ignister monster. Special summon this card from your hand or your graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay. When a card or effect is activated that targets a cyber monster you control, and you control a cyber monster special summon from the extra deck, you contribute this card to negate that effect. Okay, I mean, 
Hmm. So neither of these cards is neither of these effects is amazing. You don't want to go even. Um, so you don't want to like tribute this tribute a monster from your field to summon this card from your hand. So probably what you would do is you would draw this card with Curry. Uh, you would draw Curry Kulink with backup at Ignister, then discard it, and then you can revive it with uh, Wizard, and that's gonna be your like that's gonna be your link three. Um, which is going to be Dark Templar. Um, I mean, Dark Templar Turbo is not bad. That's not a bad strategy for Dark Ignister to have at all. And this little package right here, if you have, you know, three Wizards, three uh, backups, and one Curry Coup Link, that's a, that's a solid package for getting a Link 3 out. So, I'm already sold this is going to be a pretty strong deck. All right, since we have a new tuner monster, we have a new synchro monster. Firewall Saber Dragon, level seven dark cyber synchro effect monster. One, one tuner plus one non-tuner. So if you're gonna make this with your backup secretary, then you need a level four, which is gonna be your wizard. 2300 attack, 2000 defense. So it has 2300 attack, even though it's a firewall monster. Uh, that's great because uh, Ignister cares about 2300 attack wins. You can only use each of this card's effects once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can target one cyber monster that's in your graveyard or banished and add it to your hand. Okay. You know, solid effect. Um, if, for example, you normal summon your uh, wizard at Ignister and then you special summon back up Ignister to Synchro, you could then get the wizard at Ignister back in your hand and then special summon both it and back up at Ignister with its own effect. So that ability lets you basically use the one you had normal summon uh, for its special summon. That's fine. You can target one other cyber monster you control that has a level. This card's level becomes that monster's level. Okay. So this will allow you to exceed summon if you need to. Interesting idea. Not sure that it's really all that good, but we'll see what the exceed monster does. If this card is sent to the graveyard as link material, you can add one I spell from your deck to your hand. That is insane. That's really good. A lot of I spells in the game. All of them do interesting and fun things. If you're going to play at Ignister, being able to search any I spell that you need is going to be huge. So, very, very powerful effect. Here is our Xyz monster. Code Igniter, rank four Dark Xyz Cyber monster, 23 and attack, 2000 defense. Uh, two level fours. You can only use the first, second, and third effects of this card's name once per turn. If this card is exceeds summon, you can add one with Cybers Ritual Monster from your deck to your hand. <laughs> okay. So we have a tuner monster that will allow you to exceed summon, and then that exceeds summon draws you a ritual monster. So, interesting idea. If you want to play the Arrival version i guess even though all these monsters are dark it'd be pretty hard for you to actually you know make uh the arrival with this deck but if you want to you could and i guess you could always put like a ritual monster that you would actually want to summon in this but i'm not sure if there are any cyber ritual monsters you would really want to play maybe the idea is that you're going to play sage but i doubt it you can detach one material from this card, Ritual Summon one Ritual Monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand and or field whose levels equal or exceed its level. So this allows you to basically uh, draw the Ritual Summon and then draw the Ritual Monster and then Ritual Summon it without even needing the Ritual Spell. That's interesting. It's still a monster effect. It's going to be a lot easier for your opponent to negate a monster effect than to negate a Ritual Spell. But it does Ritual Summon. The monster will be properly summoned, so... It's a pretty decent effect that allows you to play a Ritual Monster without too many bricks. If this card is sent to the graveyard as Link Material, you can add one Eye Trap from your deck to your hand. That's also really, really strong. Okay, so we have two Searchers in this deck. And now we get to our big payoff card. Act Code Talker at Ignister. This is a Link 5 Dark Cybers Monster with 2300 attack points. <laughs> it requires three or more effect monsters. Okay, so that's Access Code Talker as a Link 5. 
This better be good. This better be a good card. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Okay, so you can use the first effect as much as you want. If this card is Link Summon, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon other monsters for the rest of the turn. Never mind. Also, special summon as many Cyber monsters with 2300 attack from your graveyard as possible to your zones this card points to. And if you do, this card gains 500 attack points for each one. Okay. So that allows you to bring back three different monsters, and your uh, Act Code Talker gains 1,500 attack points forever. That's not as good as Access Code in terms of raw power, but it's equally as strong in terms of winning the game, I guess. You don't get to destroy things, but you do get a full board of powerful monsters. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect, as a quick effect, you contribute one Link monster this card points to, uh, negate the activation, and if you do, banish the card. Okay, so it's an omni-negate once per turn, but you have to tribute a link monster that it points to. I mean, it does get three of those, <laughs> which is pretty pretty good. Um, hmm. This is definitely like a powerful effect, but the problem is the hard lock. Um... You can't supposed to summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. That's a... Uh... You would have to set up, like, really well. And you just made a Link 5, so you probably used up a lot of your board. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, um... I mean, you could obviously summon, like, Code Talkers. You could summon, like, X Code Talker and N Code Talker and Shooting Code Talker, whatever Code Talker you want. Um, with this effect, but will it be enough is the question um, Genuinely, that's a big question I don't know actually um, But I'm very curious to find out So yeah, uh, I think that this deck is pretty interesting and pretty strong and there is of course a new uh, eye spell card and a new eye trap card to be used as the search targets. So we have Sunagari Eye, which is ties. Okay. Uh, this is a normal spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Reveal a Cybers monster in your hand. Apply this effect based on its attribute. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, except Cybers monsters. If it's dark, you special summon the monster, and if you do, add one non-dark, level 4 or lower Cybers monster from your deck to your hand. So if it's dark, you go plus. Good. If it's not dark, you shuffle the revealed monster into your deck, and if you do, add one Ignister monster with a different attribute from your deck to your hand. It's an interesting idea. Um, that does help you if you're playing the... Um, the... Arrival deck. It's like an unbricking effect. But an unbricking effect is, I mean, it's not, it's not a, uh, it's like small world, right? It's not like a, it's not a rota effect. It's a trade. Still could be worth it, but it's definitely a lot better for the dark side. So yeah, this is a pretty strong card. You're going to search this a lot. Then for the trap, we have Ibo, which is... <laughs> Ibo. That's a fantastic pun. Uh, which is, uh, Ibo is partner, so uh, the English version is partners. Uh, normal trap card, you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. Target face-up cards your opponent controls equal to the number of cyber monsters you control with 2300 original attack points. Negate their effects until the end of the turn. Okay, <laughs> so, so, <clears throat> if you make this thing, it has 3,800 attack points. You summon three Link 3s to the zone that it points to. <laughs> this lets you negate four cards. <laughs> now, they have to be face up, which means that you basically have to sit back and let your opponent summon a whole bunch of stuff. 
and it's the most telegraphed effect in the world because you had to search it and your opponent knows what it does and obviously they could just pop your board but when it does go off negating four cards with one card effect is nuts that's really really good this is imperm on steroids and you can search it the other effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard target one that cyber monster that's banished and special summon it you can use each effect uh on the same turn so you can activate this effect you can um <clears throat> negate four cards on your opponent's side of the field and then if they banish one of your uh cyber monsters you can banish the trap card to special summon it so it's a really cool card uh, I really like this card, and this card is like the main reason why I'm excited to actually play this deck. Um, Ignister is not a deck I would consider building in real life, but I think that I will definitely make this deck when it comes to Master Duel, and I'll be very excited for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. My name is Serafian, I was thrilled to have all of you with me.